Welcome on ETV. In this video, we are going to make this uh, armchair just right here. So, for that, I'm going to use uh, a simple geometrical form. So, I need um, my model, character model, to a sitting pose. And I'm going to add a cylinder just like, just like this. I'm going to quickly move it. Uh, and rotate, and rotate it to 90 degrees, like this, resize, okay, I can rename it as a cylinder, so I'm going to hide it and duplicate and work on a copy. I need this for the moment. So I'm going to make first this uh, shape just right here. So zoom in, uh, use the move tool, unlock, reset, uh, rotation, and lock. I'm just going to make uh, this. It seems good. This is not the real shape. Control Z. So I need to use here modificator, uh, deform smooth, and I need to take this one and do something like this. Yes, it seems good. It's like uh, an egg. It's like an egg shape. So I transform it as an egg shape. Maybe more, more like this. Yes, seems better. Okay, I got the shape modification and accept. Okay, seems good. I'm gonna reduce the size. I'm gonna make the first part just right here. Uh, wait. Control Z to the center. Just save. So it's something like this. So I need to a small rotation with the shift key at five degrees. Like this. Yes. Unlock, reset location, uh, rotation, center, and lock. That's it. Save your work. And now I'm going to make this part. Just wait here. So more thinner. Just go to uh, geometry subdivide one time, two time. Seems good. Erase inferior. I can make um, a quick topology on it. So I will use the symmetry with X key and zero mesh. It seems clean. Maybe I need a small deformation polish to one. Yes, it's better. Okay. So let me adjust 
شي وايدة like this yes it seems better now I'm gonna duplicate this one so duplicate and I just gonna hide the original one and I'm gonna hide my character like this so we are in the copy and I need another one where I need another one another one here here and here I need to make this part just right here uh, ah okay I find, I find it. So, I duplicate again this one, like this. Activate Boolean. Boolean on, okay. Reduce the global size. Enlarge it, like this, okay. Polyframe view if you want to see your Boolean object. So, I need something bigger, so reduce the global size. Like this. It seems... It seems good. Okay. Enlarge it. Okay, now we need to cut just right here. We need to cut it. Uh, but before... <coughs> before to cut this one... I'll come back to the original shape, just right here. I stop bullying, like this, okay. And I'm going to make this small shape here, just right here. So I duplicate, yes, uh, no, I don't need to duplicate this one, I need um, a cylinder. I'm going to choose this one. Yes, this one. So I duplicate the cylinder 0, 0. Duplicate. Move it down. Change the global size. Move it. Okay. No. I'm going to just enlarge it this way. Go to geometry similar one time, two time, three time. It was. I can make a quick um, zero mesh on symmetry on and zero mesh. Okay, I save my work. Go back to sub tools and now. Enlarge this size up, go like this, zoom in. So I make the fit go out. Uh, it seems to be transparent is on. Just right here. Maybe more like this. As you can see, this is the end of the shape, and I'm gonna cut it like this so more like this, more up, and I'm gonna cut more down, yes, seems good, I'm gonna cut it just right here, okay, so transparency is off, mm -hmm. it seems good, yes, I think, I think it's good, Wait, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the uh, boolean on again. And I got something like this. Hmm. So I got one shape here. Oh, 
Okay, it's hard. So, boolean off. I'm gonna hide this small part just right here first. So, hide it. No, this is uh, live boolean on. I need to cut here. So, for that, I just gonna use a simple cube. And let's go to add cube. Reduce the global size. Zoom in. Boolean on, just right here. And move it. For your frame view, if you want to see it. Zoom, zoom. Enlarge. Okay, I think this is it. Now we're gonna create the boolean. So go to boolean and create boolean. Okay. Disactivate boolean. Uh, we are in cylinder zero three, and the new one is right here. So we got this. The first thing we need to do is to duplicate it, work on a copy, go to Geometry and activate Symmetry with X and Zero Mesh. Okay. Now I need the wound shape, so go to Deformation, Polish to 1. This is wound, but not enough wound, so I need to use the smooth brush. So let's smooth it by hand. Okay, this one. Smooth it by hand. Again. I think it's good. Uh, yes. So I'm gonna put this one inside. Polish to one, maybe, again. Okay. So go back to the original shape. Go to Subtools and add this one, new mesh. I'm going to hide this one, uh, this one. And we got this one. Yes, uh, that's it. And now I can reduce the size of this one. Move, reducing the size. Take my U mesh and enlarge the global size like this. That's it. Okay, so now what we need uh, this one is for the hole. I don't need uh, I, I don't need it anymore, so I think I can remove it. This one I'll keep it, and this one, uh, I don't need it. Uh, yes, I, I'm going to keep the cubes. So now this is the hard part. So this one I can delete. I just save my work first. And now I want this shape and this shape together. So let's do it. So I'm going to hide my U mesh first. And here, in the small shape, I need to change in the front view, transparencies mode, I need to change the same 
length, so reduce this size. Exactly the same. I think it's good. Yes, then the same. No, what we are going to do is simply uh, by secure, we just uh, make um, a copy of this one. So copy, hide the original one, and those both just right here. One and two. I'm just gonna use merge done together. Okay, and no, I can directly go inside geometry dynamesh. I try to one, two, eight. Uh, control Z. This is not nice. So maybe at um, two four zero, it keep the shape. Okay, I keep it. Nice. Now again in geometry, go quickly inside Z mesh and X key for symmetry and Z mesh. I got this. Okay. I can make a quick smooth uh, to hide this. Quick smooth, like that. Okay, it's moving, perfect. And now, what I need is simply to show the image cylinder like this. Okay, the pictures and. Just right here, I'm gonna cut it like this. So for that, I'm just gonna use the control key and shift key together. And here, inside the brush, I'm gonna choose trim curve. Like this. Okay, so now push control key and shift key and draw a line. Everything in the dark side of the line will be cut. So I need to adjust. I need to adjust it uh, nicely. Zoom out. So it's out here. I think this is nice. Just right here. And cut it. And that's it. We got the shape. Okay, no, it's not finished. We need to zero mesh again, this one. So symmetry on, geometry and zero mesh. Like this. And it's done. Yes. So I'm gonna keep, uh, if you want to keep the Control, control Z. If you want to keep the straight face, you can choose uh, Detect Age and Zero Mesh. And it keep, as you can see, it keep the straight, it keep the flat, uh, the flat shape, the flat face. So we're gonna keep this one. Okay. Now uh, go back to Select Rectangle Simple to to not trim curve anymore. And so we got one side, but it's not over. We need to have this one and the other one. So as you can see, I got a shape just right here. As you can see, uh, it's flat here and not here. This is a uh, go this way, so I make a mistake. So I'm just gonna change it quickly. So you mesh, zoom, transparency on, and I'm just gonna move it like this. Okay, transparency is off. I think it's good, maybe more light, more like this, yes. Okay, 
It's, it seems better, so just reduce the global size. Okay, it seems better. Just save my work. I make the first, I make the left side in first. So, no. What I'm gonna do. It's make the over shape just right here. So, for this one, it's pretty simple, I think. Yes. Can make something like this, like this. Oh. Hmm, pretty hard this one. Save your work. Put it just right here. Let me think how can I make this shape. <laughs> Uh, this one, and this one, and this one. Ah, I understand. Yes, okay, I, I understand. So I'm gonna use the original egg shape I made just right here. Jeez, this is just right here, and I'm gonna Expand it like this. Yes, that's it. So first, I'm gonna control Z, keep. I'm gonna stay on this, and then I'm gonna hide these two shapes. So hide it, hide it. Okay, so this is this shape just right here. Uh, Show me this one, show me this one. Okay, so let me... This one seems good, this one seems good. This one is just right here. Okay, so I... Perspective off. So I need a cube. Yes. Just right here. Uh, this is the original shape, so duplicate this one, move it down, take the cube, move it down, I take my cube, is in boolean, so I just put it, just cut this way. Move it here. Align the edge of the cube with, with this part, just right here. So, make something like that. Okay, down again. And like, um, like this. It seems good. No? Yes. Okay. I need to adjust the size of my cylinder, so more bigger. Okay, more this way. Bigger again, and this way. It seems good. Zoom in. Go down. Okay. Go back to the cube. It seems, uh, I think for, for me, it seems good. Okay, so enlarge the cube this way. Okay, and now, get that shape. Transparencies, no, transparencies again. It's pretty hard. Uh, I got the, the bottom shape, just right here, the under shape. Now I need this, this one and this one. 
Okay, so simple. I'm going to take another cube. So duplicate this one. Put it on. I'm just going to hide the U mesh, this, this shape. Okay, transparency is off. I turn on light boolean. So I got this. I move my second cube right here. Something like this. Zoom in. Okay, more bigger. So I need to make this first. So this uh, I need the other one just right here. Bigger. Transparencies on. I think this shape seems good. Okay. So I need this one. Transparencies off. I got this, okay. That's what I want. Duplicate this cube, okay. Boolean on. Change the rotation maybe to five. Move it and go inside. I think like this seems good. Okay, I'm gonna make a first. Um, wait, just remove the boolean option. Transparency is on. I need my character to see if it's good. Ah, not in the good place. Okay. Ah, not in the good place. I I think this one needs to be more left with this. Okay. So go back to Boolean. And now go back to Boolean here and create Boolean. And the new part is this one. Okay, so I did duplicate and zero mesh sheet XK to to get the symmetric and zero mesh. Uh, zero mesh again. Okay, seems better. I'm gonna make a small deformation and Polish to one. Okay. Go back to the over. Light boolean off. Okay, hide this one, this one, this one, and this one. Show this one and this one. Okay, go to add. The new shape is right here. Symmetry off. Okay. Zoom. And now we need to adjust it by end. Uh, so I'm gonna just hide these uh, pictures. So first, save my work. I need to add hide this one. So Shift Z to hide it. And now show me my character just right here. Okay, zoom out. And I just gonna move all this together. So for that, I simply use move tool, select right here multiple item, control shift key together and click on the character. That's it. And now I can move all right here. Okay, so I need to enlarge it.
Okay, so reduce the uh, control Z, reduce the size like this. Okay, move it down. It seems good. We fit the shape. Don't forget, we're gonna add the cylinders here and cylinders here. The global shape seems uh, good. I f yes, maybe a little more up. Like this, okay. Okay, so we see the global shape. Okay, I think it's pretty good. So now go back to the draw mode. Wait, and select one. Okay, and draw mode. And now I'm gonna take. Where is it? Where are they? This one and this one. Okay. So this one and this one, I'm gonna put them together in first. So just merge down. Okay. Save. I'm gonna move it uh, symmetry off and I'm gonna move it to the left side like this. So this is the yes, this is the uh, is its position. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the U mesh cylinder, this one. And I'm just gonna put it, uh, change the global size. Mm, I think this one seems good. Yes. It seems pretty good. I'm gonna keep it like this. Maybe more entre the more uh, wide. More wide again. Okay. I'm just gonna move take this one, put it down. I'm gonna move. Oh, like this, okay. It are smaller. Yes, I think this size is pretty good. Yeah, I think this size is good. So, for that one, right now, Shift Z. I get this. So I'm gonna change the size of the U mesh cylinders. I'm gonna call it we name as sit save. I'm gonna go I'm gonna duplicate this one, hide the original one, and go no in geometry, subdivise one time, two time, three time. Okay, it was inferior. No, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna go to the side view and I'm gonna select this thing. I'm gonna mask it and select this part. Just right here. Invert selection. Move up. Like this. Don't forget, we got the pillow here and the pillow here. So I'm gonna make this size something like this. For the for this part is uh, already good. So remove the mask. Symmetry on. I can just change quickly the shape like this. Okay, now we're gonna make with symmetry on a new uh, zero mesher. So let's go zero mesh. It's 
It's not a, it's a, it's a hard uh, piece to do this one. Okay, shape is we make is we made sorry. Add you I get a small bug just right here. I don't see it. And okay, it's good. Zoom in. Reduce the brush size. Move this part. Smooth it a little, not too much. Move again. Okay, now what we are going to do is hide the this one, this part, so shift Z. Now we are going to take uh, this one, put it up, and this one we are just going to separate. So go to separate groups, yes, and I just want, where is it? So. Ah, the, the down, no, this, this one and this one are together. So this one merge down. They are together. Don't forget. Okay. And this one pull it down. Hide it. Duplicate. This it. Uh, hide it to and duplicate. We work on a copy and this one and this one merge together. So merge down. Uh, wait, I make a mistake. Control Z. Ah. Where is it? Duplicate this one. That's it. This one we need to duplicate again and now go to deformation mirror X. That's it. Okay. Now this one and the both together. So merge down and merge down. That's it. Solo. Okay. And now what we need to do is go to geometry dynamesh. And we are going to make it at uh, 300. Yes. And Dynamesh. Nice. Okay. So no symmetry on. Zoom in. Uh, smooth. Just right here. It seems good. Uh, we can smooth the back, smooth it slowly, not too much. Okay. Oops, sorry, <laughs> my mistake. And now zero mesh. So zero mesh, adapt, uh, symmetry on and zero mesh. And we got this. Okay, so off and we get the global shape. Yes, I like it. So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, that's not finished. Right now, this piece is just to save your work. This uh, piece is very cheap. This one. I'm gonna put it. Uh, this is. Uh, the seat, I'm uh, going to take the new shape, just right here, pull it down. I'm going to take this shape here and pull it down again. I'm going to merge the both, uh, wait, this one and this one. No, not, uh, not to, for the moment. Okay, control S. For save your works, yes. So as you can see, we got a small gray part just right here on this one. So I'm going to take this one. 
solo mode and I want uh, to make another groups on this one. Just wait here, another group. I think so the front view I'm going to mask this one just this small part like this more up okay. maybe this size wait Okay, I'm gonna remove my mask just like this. Okay, so I get this one and this one. The other side. So remove my mask on this face. This and maybe more like this, okay. A little more here. Zoom in just a little bit mask this way, not too much. Okay, no, I'm gonna select uh, this side and remove the mask on this one. Zoom. Okay, this one is good. Ah. Here we got a small one. Zoom. Zoom in, small brush, small mask, just right here. Ctrl W and we get this. Ah no, this is not nice. Okay, Ctrl Z. No, 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 no. We are not going to make any mask on these things. It's not. Uh, it's not nice. Solo, solo off. So I'm gonna remake the topology of this part. So this one first. So let's uh, do it. This is this one. So go back to geometry. Uh, I'm gonna move it. Go to the, the center and lock. To get a good, uh, a good topology of this one, I need to recenter the pieces right here. Okay, solo, symmetry on, and detect age, and half. Four thousand again. Two thousand. Zoom in. I got a small hole just right here. Okay, Ctrl Z. Ctrl Z again. So Ctrl W one polygroups. Detect edge off and half. Ctrl 
Rosy. Non, this one is not working nice. So go to geometry, dynamesh, and dynamesh it. OK, Control W. That's it. And now geometry, zero mesh, half. Yes, that's it. OK, half again. 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 Maybe one more time. And we got this shape. 800. OK. Solo off. Maybe it's too much. So Ctrl Z. Go back to 170. 1,700. OK, this one seems nice. So I just gonna remove this symmetry and move it in a good position. Zoom in. Transparency is on. OK, so that's a very good position. Yes, transparency is off. Move it right here and right here. And yes, this is the good place. And now we are going to make the cylinders here and here. So let's go to add cylinders. Add cylinders, this one. Zoom. Front view, OK. Um, rotation 90 degrees. Global size, move. Zoom in, zoom again. Move it gun position. OK, change the global size. Uh, I think. This is something like that. Front view, adjust the length. Like this. Transparency is on. So, yes, I think the length are good. Transparency is off. Boom. Okay. Move it in a good position. So, this one and this one. Like this. OK. Ctrl Shift D to duplicate and move it to the next position. Here. Yes, that's it. Now we can group the both feet. So I'm just going to regroup it. So merge down together. OK. Unlock, center. Um, we, um, reset rotation and lock. And we name as uh, fit. That's it. Okay, so now we're going to take this one and we're going to name it as um, side, side face. Um, côté in in French, okay, duplicate, go to deformation, mirror X. Okay, do the same for the fit, duplicate, deformation, and mirror X. That's it. No, we're going to take um, this side and this side and merge them together. So merge down, the fit together, merge down, uh, unlock center, the side, unlock and center. That's it. Save your work. OK. So we got this, we got this, we got this. And now we have uh, just to make the pillow. One, two, and three. That's it. 
So for those one, I don't need my character anymore. So I hide it. Okay. And the pillow is pretty simple. So I'm just gonna add uh, first a cube. Wait, I already have a cube, I think. Yes, it's right here. So I'm gonna take this one and duplicate, move it down. Okay, move. Rotation five degrees. Ah, wait, lock. Rotation five, yes, five degrees. Okay. Go to deformation, polish to one. That's it. Move, move to the good position. Change the size. Zoom in. Zoom out. Transparencies. Okay, so this size here. Move here. Okay. This size here. Like this. Seems good. And this one. More this way. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, geometry, symmetry on, and zero mesh on it. Okay. Transparency is off. Symmetry on, and I'm going to take my move brush. Bigger brush. I'm just gonna move it like this. Enlarge this side like this. Okay. It seems nice. Okay, now we can reduce V size up and this move it down symmetry off and no control shift d duplicate move so move rotation Transparency is on and rotation to 90-95 degrees. Yes. And move to the to its position. Transparency is off. Reduce this size. Again. Reduce again. Okay. Okay, I think this one is pretty good. I'm gonna take my move brush, transparency is on, and I'm just gonna put it a little. Uh, wait, Ctrl Z, XK for symmetry, and I'm gonna put it like this. Smaller brush. Okay. Transparency is off. Yes, it's good. So now we can make the topology. So adapt off. Symmetry on and half. 
I'm going to reduce it, so you can reduce it again. You can reduce again. And maybe one more time. Subdivise one time. Okay, seems good. Just going to quickly adjust this shape. Yes, it's better. The other one, adapt of symmetry on and half zero mesh again, 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 again. Ah, it seems good. Subdivise one time. Okay, seems good. Subdivise off and adjust the edge of the pillow just right here. So zoom in, move and adjust. A small um, just move slowly. Okay, this one seems good. Subdivise one time. Okay, this is the final result after uh, the uh, exportation. Seems good. So, Ctrl Z. That's okay. Save your work. Perspective on. Okay, nice. Seems nice. Uh, we forget one pillow here. We're gonna make it after. But first, we need to make this one. So go inside. So this one and this one are together. So we can just merge them together. So fusion, merge down. That's it. Control W. This is the same, polygroups, and uh, uh, we name it as um, 6, okay, this one um, we name as uh, base, this one as a side, okay, side, and fit. Okay. So add again cylinder. Take this one. Zoom out. Move. Rotation 90 degrees. Okay. Reduce the global size. Zoom it. Move it to the perspective off. Move it to the good position. So I think that this one here. Okay, enlarge it like this. Seems good. Go to deformation mirror polish to one. Uh, this is too much. Control Z. Okay. So go inside geometry, zero mesh, um, symmetry on, and adapt off and same. Okay. Seems good. Now go inside deformation, polish to one. And I think we got it. Okay, move. Symmetry off, maybe more like this and more like this. It seems to be good. It seems to be good. Okay. And I think it's finished. We need, ah, yes, we just forgot with this pillow. I, 
I don't really like this pillow, but uh, maybe we can. Maybe we, we can do. We can do it. Oh no. We are not going to make this pillow. We are just keeping this uh, this one. Okay. So uh, this one is rename as um, this one is exactly the same as this one. So we're going to group it together. So I take this part and merge down. Control W. This is the same for your groups. Okay. This one are the same, CTRL W. This side, CTRL W, the same. And the base is already good. Okay. I think all is good. So now go to new folder. And this is armchair. So in French, put it in the same folder. Uh, like this and like this. Save your work. Now I can close this one. So this is a shift a Z key. Uh, let me check with the character on it. Perspective on. Yes, it works. Okay, perfect. So now it's time to make the UVs. But just before, I'm just gonna clean. I'm just gonna, gonna clean this one, so I keep this one. I keep this one. Uh, I keep this one, and I remove this one, 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 and this one. Save. So the base. Go for the base. Go to the plugin. UV master symmetry on and on warp. Okay, that's it. This one, those one right now, the plugin, we can use uh, symmetry and on warp. Okay, this side, we can use symmetry too. So symmetry and warp. And the fit, you can use symmetry again. That's it. Now it's time to go to the plugin FBX visible. We can use smooth normal for this one and export creation. And this is um, one armchair one and save. Okay, now it's time just save. And now it's time to make the texture. So this is this one. Hop là, Substance Painter, File, New, Open, and this one. Open, OK. And we got it. So for this one, this is a white. So let's go to white. Uh, something white, this is liver. So uh, liver, I'm gonna choose liver bag. Okay, liver bag on the pillow. Zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna, I will not use the normal map. I will not. Uh, I will keep the eight map and I will change the color to full white. Okay. I choose triple planar projection and I remove the eight map. And it seems good. Let me check the pictures. Okay, zoom, 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 zoom. I think it's good. So I keep this one. If I change the color, I get this. Yes, okay, I keep this one. 
in full weight, okay? And it's good. I do the same for this side. So lever bag to this side. I remove the 8 map, go to triple NR projection and full weight. That's it. For this one, I do exactly the same but in grey. Simply, so lever bag here. Yeah. No height map, triple NR projection and full white and go to gray. Gray like this. It seems, uh, it seems good, this one. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. Now I'm going to use the iron for the fit, so simply pure iron, ok, got it, that's it. Just going to save, file, uh, save as. Armchair one. Okay. So I got this, I got this. Okay, and now I'm going to try to make the white line just right here and the gray line here. So here in the texture, I select the base. This one. Add a layer and I'm going to go inside brush. Where is it? Brush, basic hard, base color full white. Okay, reduce this size. Symmetry on with L key. And I can go inside here uh, 2D only. Ah, no, where is it? Not here. Okay, so 3D only. Side view. And I just have to make. So. Design smaller, okay, smaller one here. No, control Z. Ah, okay, so this is this way. Okay, I think I, uh, I see it. So that's that point just right here. Not sure, 3D only. Yes, that's it. 
Ctrl Z, OK. Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. No, I don't like the white line just right here. No, 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 no. This way, this way, no, this way. No, don't work. Ctrl Z. I don't think I'm gonna make the white line for this one because it's too hard. I have no idea how to make it. Uh, zoom 2D only. So this is this side. I will try to make here. So zoom in. So one point here. Only. Ah, I got it. Okay. Zoom. Yes, I got it. <laughs> this one and this one. Yeah, nice. Okay, just save. And now I got a small uh, thing just right here on this one and maybe on the pillow. So zoom. Go to sit. Was one. Symmetry on with uh, add a layer. Symmetry with L key. And here I just want to hide something here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, basic soft. Yes, I'm going to use the material mode and uh, I'm going to use artificial lever, this one. Normal on, change the color to full white. Just reduce the brush size, zoom in, first test, mm, no, ok. Uh, maybe I can use another one inside tool and I can use uh, it's not this one no not this one I think it's it's good we use this size again. 2D only. So where is it? Ah, I cannot see. Uh, so 3D only. Here, yes. Control Z. So one here. Ah, no, that's not nice. Ctrl Z. 
not in a good position. Maybe here. No, 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 it's not nice. You know why? I'm gonna keep it like this. And I'm gonna add... Uh, no, that's all. I'm just gonna keep this. Okay, so it's finished, so I can remove this layer. And last save, and export. File, export texture. So, the base right here in 2K. The fit, I don't need uh, uh, one uh, 128 as enough for the fit. Okay. The side in uh, 2K and the seat. Where is the seat? This it in 2K. And I think it's a good. Uh, yes, and export. So let's try it inside iClone. This was a long video for this one because uh, <laughs> it's a hard uh, I prop to make. Open folder. And go. I can close it right now. Go to iClone. Uh, go to this one. Where is it? Here. Drag on it. Okay, so this object contains four mesh. Would like to break up? No, I want only one item. And it's here. Modify attributes, pivot to the middle, to the middle, down, right here. Okay, uh, z, z, y, z, x, z. Uh, just move in front, like this. Zoom in. Okay. Uh, material. So let's go select all and choose the diffuse color to full white. Go to the base, uh, creation, can close it, export, so base, 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 roughness, base, metallic, base, color, normal map, open GL, to bump, normal map. That's it. Sit. Uh, sit, sit, sit. Where is it? Sit Rugness Metallic Base Color Normal OpenGL Normal Map Side Side Rugness Metallics Base Color Normal OpenGL to Bump Map And that's it. Oops, sorry. And the fit uh, here. Rugness, Metallics, Base Color. We don't have normal map on this one, so we don't need it. Okay, and now we are going to adjust the color of this seat. So select this seat, Base Color right here, and if you want, you can change directly in the issues color, you can make it in. Red, black, green, yellow, anything you want. So for this one, I'm gonna choose white, but not totally white, little gray, a darker, something like this. 149, 149, 149. Okay, I do the same for the side. So base color, diffuse color. More gray, 149, 149. 149, 149, 149. Okay. So I get this. And that's all. And if I want to change the base um, color, I can uh, 
just go to diffuse color and change it to red, black, anything I want. I'm going to keep it in white, like the original one. And that's it. Uh, and now we're going to try it. So I'm going to put it, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to stay here. So put it right here. Okay. Uh, give me the lamp and put it on the trash. Like this. Over. Okay. Come here. Just save first. Okay. Change the position. So motion. Pause. Mal pause. And we got this. Yes, seems nice. Move. I want, wait, I'm going to make a sexy girl on it, so wait, uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, can stay here, uh, content, custom, avatar, joy, Okay, she's right here. She needs some clothes. Uh, this way. Uh, custom. Clothes. Over. Can close this one. Here, here, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. And this position. You can remove the shoes. Move up like this. Edit motion layer. So unlock this one rotation. Oops, rotation again. This one, rotation, this one, rotation this way. This one, unlock, rotation, rotation this way. This one. Okay, this one down. This way. Here. 
this one just right here lock the elbow unlock rotation Yeah, this one rotation like this. Okay. Here rotation to this one like this. Okay, the head. the end and that's it I can say here we are so go to sin go to eyes this one uh, props I don't want this one, I don't want this one, I don't want this one, this one, and this one. And that's it. And this is the result. Ta-da! Okay, so... This was a long video because this was uh, a night an hard um, this was hard to do. The shape is really strange, so it takes uh, more time to make it. Thanks for watching and see you in another video. Bye bye.